Night Beat. Hi, this is Randy Stone. I cover the Night Beat for the Chicago Star. You know, stories start out in many different ways. Tonight's story started when I walked into a nice little guy's private world and it blew up right in my face. Night Beat, starring Frank Lovejoy as Randy Stone. When the streetcars and the subways fill out their thousands of tired ones who scurry off into a million directions to find home, that's when it begins. I start walking, looking for my story so that you can read about it in your morning newspaper and feel good because it didn't happen to you. Tonight I got my story fast. Just walking down Madison Street, west, away from the center of I kept walking past the shooting gallery, the nickel arcade with the peep shows and the fortune-telling machines, the jukebox taverns, <laughs> Madison Street, the quick route to happiness with the world's worst hangover. And then straight ahead of me was Pop Gordon's training gym. That's where the public pays 30 cents to watch fellas training to beat each other's brains out. You know, when I got inside, it looked like just one of those fights. And then I heard one voice over the other. It was a voice I knew. Somebody call the cops and get that punchy loon out of here. You yelling stupid bums out of your life at me. What's the matter, Pop? Randy. Yeah. This crazy owl's gone clear off his rocker. But that's Billy. Somebody call the cops. Wait a second, Pop. He's all right. Sure, sure. Listen to him. I'll kill you. Anybody lays a glove on me gets killed. You'll Only have one place for a loon like that in the bug the house. I'm going to get the cops and have this owl tied up. Oh, now, wait a minute, Pop. Let me yeah. talk to him. Randy, stay away from that lug. Five of us couldn't hold him. He knows me. Randy, the guy's gone nuts. Yeah, like I said, everybody's scared of getting the same. Hey, Billy. Billy. What? Hi, Billy. How's it going? Uh, you coming in with me? No, sure, sure. Make me a big man getting into the same ring with a champ. Well, that's me, champ. And you're a two-bit bum. The thumbnail description, if I ever heard one. Admit it. The truth. A two-bit bum. Admit it. I admit it. I admit it, Billy. Yeah, but you don't mean it. You're laughing at me like the rest of them. You're laughing at me. Billy, I never laughed at you in my life. You're laughing? Well, I'll show you what happens to anybody who laughs at Billy the Kid. that. <laughs> As the world flew away in all directions, I dimly remembered how the sports writers used to speak so respectfully of Billy's fast left hand. But brother, if they knew what I just found out about his right. When the fog finally cleared, Pop Gordon was bending over me, and there were a lot of other faces, too. But I didn't see Billy when I stood up. You okay, Randy? Oh, this is being okay. I don't want any part of it. He slugged you, but good. Where is he? I took off before the cops come. Took off before anybody could grab him. Nah, I don't blame him. Yeah. I let that bum come in the gym and sit around. Everybody else could sense but him. I let him free. What's he do, huh? What's he do? He busts loose. He blows his top. But why? What happened to Billy? Oh, I don't know. Tonight I catch him putting a bite on my customers. Two bits here, a dime there. Billy was panhandling? Sure. Like I... I didn't like it, so I tell him. And then when? I don't know. I'm over at the other side of the gym. I hear somebody laugh, and the next thing I know, the owl's swinging like a windmill. He's going to kill everybody just for being around. He ought to be tied up. Uh-huh, just like that, huh? Yeah, he ain't safe. What do you want, the black come around, cart him away like a load of rubbish? Yeah, but for his own good. Oh, Pop. Yeah. Remember when he was champ? He packed him in every club where he fought. He had a dollar or five dollars for anybody who held out a hand. So? What are you getting at? Well, now he's got no one, Pop, and now he's out in the cold. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I'll forget the cops. But we still got to put them away. Well, all right, sure. But let's do it as painless as possible. I'll, uh... I'll keep him with me tonight, and then tomorrow... We'll... You going after him? Yeah, which way'd he go? Uh, straight up the streets, but watch out, Randy. He blows his lid. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I don't want any rematch. 
I'd like to know why he blew his lid in the first place and my jaw in the second place. I'd known Billy a long time. A sweet, gentle guy who always seemed to be living in a world all of his own. A world that nobody else knew about and cared less. And now he was... In his mood, he might hurt someone, or worse, he might get himself hurt. I must have walked for half an hour before I finally spotted him. He was standing on a corner. I stopped and watched him for a couple of minutes. I watched his hesitant and embarrassed panhandling. Then I walked over to him, slowly. Hello, Billy. What? Oh, hiya, hiya, Randy, old pal, old pal, hiya. You want some company? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> sure, sure. Randy, wh- where you been keeping yourself? I-, I ain't seen you for a couple of weeks. You haven't seen me for a couple of weeks? Well, I, I thought maybe you'd forget an old pal, huh? No, you're <laughs> not the kind of a fellow one forgets, champ. Mm-mm. Now, what was the uh, trouble back at the gym? Gym? What gym? Pop Gordon's. Pop's place? Yeah. Well, well let's go. I, I gotta help Pop. He, he's a good joy, you know. He never charges me nothing. Wait a minute, hold on a second, Billy. Hold on. Yeah? Weren't you at the gym tonight? Oh, no. Not tonight. I, I've been here. And you didn't, uh, massage my chin? You, you're giving me a rib. Well, what you looking at me for like that, Randy? Forget it, Billy. You, you was just ribbing, huh? Oh, sure. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I, I like ribs. I'm not giving the hot foot nothing like that, but funny ribs that, that don't hurt nobody. No, sure. <laughs> can I ask you a $64 question? Well, sure not. You, you can ask me anything, Randy, anything. I saw you a minute ago, Billy. What? I never seen you ask for a touch before. Uh, huh. I, I, I ain't never going to do it no more, but... But, Randy, I, I got it tonight. I, I got to get a few bucks. Maybe 15 I already got $2. Maybe Why 15. do you need $15? What? I, I, I got to get a new suit. A new suit? What's so special about tonight, Billy? What? That, that, that's something I, I got to do. It. I just got to do it, Randy. I got to have 15 But Hey, Dim Scott. Hey! Sorry. Is that you, Randy? Yeah. Oh, Sullivan! Yeah. Randy. Don't let him pick me up for panhandling, please. No, I won't, please, Billy. Now, don't. you wait here. Wait here. I'll be right back. Yeah. yeah. That's Billy back there, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, Sullivan. Why? Heard you had a little trouble with him back at the gym. Mm. Maybe we ought to put him in the tank for the night, keep him out of trouble, huh? Look, uh, look, Sullivan. Uh, he's going away tomorrow for a long time. Oh, like that, huh? Yeah, that, that's it. This is his last night out. Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, good. That's the way I do it myself. I'll see you around, Randy, but keep in... I'll watch him like a hawk. Thanks, Sullivan. So long. Uh, well, what they say, Randy? They, they ain't gonna pick me up for mooching, are they? They, they ain't gonna... No, no, no. Of course not. Uh, look, uh, Billy, how'd you like to come to my apartment for a while? Oh, I can't. I told you I, I gotta get 15 bucks. Well, we'll talk about it. Well, I gotta get it tonight. Now I gotta get a new soup because... Because... Yeah, go go on. Why? I I can't be wearing this crummy rag when when I see her. Not when when I see her. I didn't know what he meant. But whatever it made him go crazy at the gym, whatever it made him hit me was tied in with her. Who she was, I didn't know, and I wasn't sure that he knew. I finally talked him into going to my place, and when we went in, I watched that slow, gentle smile come over his face. Hey, this place is a number one. Yeah. Sit down, Billy. I ain't got much time. Just a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, I, I'm awful tired, Randy. Seems like a lot of things has happened tonight, you know. I, I'm kind of tired, sir. Want a drink, Billy? Oh, no. I, I, I never touch it, you know that. Yeah. And you never panhandled before. Well, I, I ain't gonna do that no more just tonight. I, I never bummed off of nobody. I paid my own way. Come anything, I, I paid my own way. Yeah, that's why I want to know why you're putting the bite on people tonight. I ain't gonna tell you. You'll you, you laugh. I won't laugh. You will. Somebody else laughed when I told you. Some, somebody laughed and... 
Well, when, when somebody laughs at me, I don't like it. I All right, easy, you, I, easy, brother. I, easy, easy, easy. Come on. Uh, I, I tell you, I, I, I got to get 15 bucks. Hey, hey, look, look, look at this. What's that, Billy? I, I cut it out of the paper today. I, I seen it. Hey, you, you take a look at it, huh? You, you read what it All says. Right. Mrs. Walter Compton and her husband... Yeah? Yeah, go on, that's more... Prominent society leaders of New York will be in town tonight. They're staying at the lake shore and... I can't go there in this crummy rag. Well, why do you have to see her? What? Well, I, I gotta tell her something. It's hey, getting late, Randy. I, I gotta get... I'll lend you the $15, Billy. You? Oh, no. No, I pay my own way. Well, pay it back whenever you get a job. No, I don't want any handouts. It's just a loan, Billy. It's a loan. What? <laughs> uh, thanks, Randy. You... You're a champ. Now, now tell me why you got to see her. You, you ain't gonna laugh. I, I can take anything but that. Anything. I won't laugh, Billy. No, I, I, I you wouldn't. Okay. You, you remember once I was champ? Right? Oh, everybody knows you were champ. Now, what about her, Mrs. Compton? Yeah. Well, it's one night after a fight. See, I ain't champ yet, but I'm punching right up to the top. See. Okay, but this one fight, she ain't there. So I go to see her at her place. She's there. She's there. And so when I... Who's that? It's me, Billy. Where are you? Yeah, out in a minute. Sure. Hey, I win tonight. I said I win tonight, Edna. Yeah, I heard on the radio. Well? Well, what? It don't mean a thing? Sure. Means a lot, I guess. You guess. <laughs> a kid for a dollar who's going to marry the next middleweight champ, you sure take things like a lump of ice. Yeah. Edna, anything wrong? No. Nope. Oh, there is. Okay, something's wrong. Have it your way. <laughs> you, you, you wasn't at the fight tonight, baby. I, I looked for you. It took me three, four rounds to get gone because I didn't see you. You won. Oh, kid, look at me. Sure. The eye got torn open again, huh? Oh, oh that's nothing. Collodion fixed it. Collodion huh? fixes everything, huh? Get cut up, use collodion. That's nice. That puts you all together again. How long do you think you'll stay together? What, what's eating on you, honey? The last two, three weeks. The last been... two, three weeks. The last two, three years. Yeah, that's right. I hate it. You hate what? Oh, Oh, kid, kid, what's wrong? You and me. Oh, I don't get it. The only thing you do get is a measly few bucks for getting your head knocked. I'm a fighter, So honey. you're a fighter. All right, fight. But count me out. Oh, now, wait a I've minute. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for him to carry you home. Me? <laughs> me? It can't happen, huh? Well, all of a sudden, you start blowing your top. It's not all of a sudden. You said it. You said there was something wrong for the last two or three years. Okay. Okay, spill it. I'm through, Billy. Washed up. Finished. What? You and me. Done. Since when? Since right now. <laughs> oh, baby, it's just the eye. You see me this way and you... <laughs> the eye. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Edna. Don't laugh at me. I take anything but being laughed at. It is a laugh. Oh, now listen, you listen. honey. I don't care if you get punched all over the state. I don't care if you get your brains rattled so hard. It's Edna. me I care about from now on. Okay. So I'll be champ. So, so you'll get your fur coat. Not from you... you. Not from a guy who's a punching bag instead of a man. Look at me. Take a good look. I am. Yeah, I am. I got looks. I got class. I can do all right. I still don't get it. All right, I'll lay it on the line for you. Want me to? Go ahead. I'm not going to tie myself to a punchy character. I'm not going to have to walk in nice places with a guy whose face is... Well, look at her. Go on, take a look in the mirror. You see what I mean? You want me to quit? I don't care if you do or not, because it's too late, Billy. It's too late. Uh, Edna, you, you shouldn't say things... <laughs> Please, Ed. 
That, that's the way it was, Randy. That, that's the way it was. Yeah, I see. Look, Billy, you don't want to go and see her after that. I, I tell you, Randy, I, I got to see her. There's something I got to tell her. and It's got to be tonight because tomorrow she, she'll be... How do you know that she'll... Well, that she'll see you? Oh, I know, I know, because there's something I, I ain't told you. There's something, something I ain't never going to tell nobody. And, uh, uh, Randy, please, please, don't, don't try to stop me. Please don't let nobody try to stop me, because... Because if, if they do, I'll, I'll kill them. You are listening to Nightbeat, starring Frank Lovejoy as Randy Stone. Billy said he'd kill anybody who'd try to stop him from seeing Mrs. Walter Compton. I looked at his scarred face and into his eyes. A wild fever you see in the eyes of a dog everyone says is mad but only wants a drink of water. And then... Uh. I guess I, I shouldn't have said that, Randy. Well, let's forget it for a minute, Billy. Now, tell me, why do you want to see her? <laughs> you don't understand dames, huh? <laughs> no, my mother never told me. Well, well, she gives me the brush, see, like... She gives me the brush, but but she doesn't... See, she, she don't want me to get my brains knocked out, see? Yeah, I'm I'm beginning to see, Billy. Sure. But me, I got no sense, so so I don't see it her way. So I, I, I let her walk out, and I don't see her no more. Not until I get hold of that paper today. And tonight you want to see her? To say what, Billy? Well, but don't you see? She loves me. All these years, she, she never lets up. And I, 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 I want to tell her it's okay, that maybe her and me, we can start all over like, see? Uh, what's the matter, Randy? Nothing. Nothing, Billy. Look, don't let anybody kid you, pal. You're still champion. Oh, I ain't nothing. But, uh... Oh, I, I got to go now. I, I got to get 15 bucks for a Now, seat. look, look, you're tired. You need a shave. Maybe take a shower. You thought of that? No. All right, now you wait here and take a shower and a shave, and I'll bring a suit back for you. Is that a deal? Oh, gee, you, you, you're a champ, Randy, a real champ. I might be gone for a little while, Billy, but when I come back, everything will be okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> There was only one thing for me to do, go and see Mrs. Walter Compton. I made sure that Billy couldn't leave my apartment. I locked the door from the outside. I didn't want him picked up before he had the chance to see her. To see the woman around whom he'd built a whole world of fantasy in which he'd lived for so many years. I didn't want that world to come down around his ears. My newspaper pass got me in to see Mrs. Walter Compton in her suite at the lakeshore. You're Mr. Stone? Yes, I am, Mrs. Compton. You're from the newspaper. Well, I'm not on newspaper business, uh, Mrs. Compton. Not tonight. This is more personal. Really? Well, what can I, um... Uh, do for me? Uh, nothing. Then please get to the point, Mr. Stone. My husband will be here shortly with guests. How soon? An hour. Why? Well, uh, because it concerns someone you used to know. Really? Who? Candell. Billy Candell. As he was better known as Billy the Kid, once middleweight champion of the world. Oh, I've forgotten. <laughs> and I was glad to. Uh, Mrs. Compton, he's coming here tonight to see you. What? He's coming? <laughs> How stupid can you get? Well, for a lot of people, it's not hard to be stupid <laughs> or uh, heartless. Yours must be a rather sentimental column, Mr. Stone. Uh, yes, it's about people. You better go. Look, uh, Please see, Billy, what can you lose? It's out of the question. Listen, all he wants is to tell you something. He wants to tell you that... that he knows that you still love him. What? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, now, listen to me, please. <laughs> now, tomorrow he's going to... Well, he's going where he can rest. He's sick, Mrs. Compton. He's desperately sick. Let's not be so polite. The word is punch drunk, I believe. You want me to see a lunatic? No, he's not. And I'll be here when he comes between us three. Do you know what you're asking? Yes, I'm asking you to give a guy a few minutes of his world. Make it real for him. Tell him anything. Tell him you still love him. Then he'll go away. After tomorrow, you'll never see him or hear from him again. You're asking me to receive that... that thing and to bring him into this hotel where everyone can see him? 
Do you know what that means? Well, to him, yes. I'm talking about myself. Myself, Mr. Stone. Yes, I'd like to get off that subject for a it's moment. It's the only subject that matters. If you don't see him, he'll crack up all the way. That happened long ago. Good evening, Mr. Stone. Three minutes of your time. I said no. Did you hear, Mr. Stone? I said no. Okay, lady, I'm going. Uh, thank you for everything that's been lovely. You needn't be sarcastic, Mr. Stone. Oh, needn't I be? Look, Queenie, I got a little spot announcement for you. Billy owes you a vote of thanks. You'll never know it, but she gave him the biggest break of his life when you walked ago. Oh, really? Yes, positively. Tonight you're giving him even a bigger break. <laughs> tell me about it, Mr. Stone. Yes, I'll tell you. <laughs> the only thing that poor guy's got left is his memory of a girl named Edna. Any resemblance between that memory and you was strictly coincidental. Goodbye. <laughs> I was glad to get out into the fresh air. All the way back to my apartment, I kept thinking of what I'd tell Billy. How I'd tell him. Then as I walked across the lobby toward the elevator... Mr. Stone, Mr. Stone! Uh, oh, what is it, Charlie? Hey, here's a message for you. Okay. You are, Mr. Stone. Thank you. How long ago he leave this? Oh, what, just a few minutes after you left. <laughs> did you know you'd left him fall down? He asked me to open the yeah, door. Yeah, did he say where he was uh, going? No, 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 just that he couldn't wait for you any longer. Oh, that is on the note. How'd he look? How'd he look? Well, I mean, anything unusual about him? No, I... He had on one of your suits, uh -huh. I remember now, that, that pinstripe one. He must have stolen. No, it right he didn't your... steal anything. Now, listen to me. Uh, I'm going to the Lakeshore Hotel. If he comes back here, get in touch with me there. Mrs. Compton's suite. Mrs. Compton's suite, yes. Oh, and listen, I think you'd better call the police. But as for Kalski, remember that Kalski? Kalski. Tell him to meet me at the Lakeshore Hotel and quick. <laughs> I took a cab, and I took the shortest way to the lakeshore. I watched the pavements looking for Billy, but I didn't see him. He had some money on him, and he must have taken a cab himself. And then I was back at the lakeshore, talking with the clerk at the desk there. Yes, sir, there was a, a man here of that description. He asked that a call be put through to Mrs. Compton's suite. And was it? Well, sir, he... He was a rather... Well, yes, he... yes, I, I know, I know. So he didn't get through. Oh, I called Mrs. Compton's suite myself and told her. That is, I described the man. I... Yes, go ahead. What'd she say? That on no account was I to put him through or send him upstairs. Oh, well. Okay, that's something. What'd he do then? He left immediately. Which way? Oh, I'm afraid I didn't notice, sir. I was registering some new guests and I paid no attention. Okay, to him. thank you very much. I had to find Billy before... Well, before what? What would he do? Where would he go? I asked myself those questions as I walked slowly along, watching for him, hoping to see that pathetic figure in my pinstripe suit. Hoping I'd get to him before someone else stopped him. I was afraid of what might happen or could happen. And then I saw him, just past the Lakeshore Hotel, shambling slowly along, his shoulders hunched against the wind that cut in off the lake. I ran and caught up with him. Billy! Billy! What? Oh. Uh, hi, Randall. Hi. W what you doing over here? Oh, I just, uh, looking around. Why'd you leave my apartment? What? Oh, well, well, you was gone so long, and I had to get going, see? Oh, sure. Come on, let's walk. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I borrowed one of your suits. It, uh, it's a, a real champ suit, all right. You, you mind, huh? You no, mind? no, Billy, none at all. Did you see her? Oh, oh, sure. What, you <laughs> did? I, I see her. Billy, they wouldn't let you go up, Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, but but uh, I, I went up the back. The back, Billy. Now look at me. Are you sure? Oh, sure. And 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 she still loves me, Randy. I, I said everything was okay. She's crazy about me like like she always. Was. What did she tell you? Well, she she didn't want to talk to me. You know how she is. But then I told her I love her, and and she loves me. Yeah. And, Billy. And, Billy. I'm tired, Randy. Lots of things happened tonight. Lots of things. Yeah, I know. What do you say we go someplace for coffee? Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. I'm awful tired. And uh, when I get real rested good, I'll go back to see her. Her and me, we'll start over again. Hey, hey, this is where she lives, you know. Yeah, Look, I, I I gotta see her once more, Randy. Maybe she'll talk to me this time. Huh? Not tonight anymore, Billy. No, but I, I want her to talk to me. Well, I don't she will. Yeah, she will. She loves me. Billy. Now listen to me. You let me go up there first. I'll talk to her and fix everything, okay? Well, tell her not to act.
Yeah, tell her to talk to me. Yes, sure, sure. I'll tell her, but you must put... Hey, Stone? Yes, Kolsky? You put in a call for us? Oh, yes, I did. It's okay now. I found him. What you call the cops for, Randy? Oh, Kolsky's not a cop. He's a... Pa- huh? He thinks you're the greatest fighter that ever lived. He always wanted to talk to you about your big fight. Oh, sure, sure. But but we're busy now. I, I'll talk to you about it later, Kolsky. I gotta see somebody. Billy, I promised you I'd see her, remember? You, you're gonna tell her I'll be waiting? Sure, sure. Now, you just... Kolsky here. Tell him uh, about the night you won the belt. Anything the matter, Stone? No, no, no. Just keep him here. I'll answer questions later. Now, Billy. Yeah? Promise me you'll stay right here. You, you won't stay long, huh? J- just tell her she loves me and... And, and I want her to talk to me. Sure, I will. Okay, now you wait here. I didn't think it would do any good to see her again, but I wanted to give Billy a good memory to take along. I saw her all right, but she didn't talk to me either. I went back downstairs and out to the street. I hadn't been gone more than five minutes, but they were the longest five minutes of my life. Brother, I was beat. Hey, hey, Rhonda, you see her, huh? You see her? Yeah, I saw her, Billy. What did she say? Huh? You tell me what she said, huh? Well, I told her. Hey, Stone, how long does this go on? This is a prowl car, not a bus. Yeah, we're coming along with you. Yeah, what's the idea? Get in the back, Billy. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I, I'd kind of like to ride to your place, Randy. Sure. Take us to the precinct, Cosmo. Listen, Randy, did you see his girl? Yes, I saw her, but she didn't talk. I guess she laughed once too often. She's dead. Huh? All right, now just take it easy, Skalski. The poor guy doesn't even know that he killed her. Four a.m. and the lights are going out all over the city. Even those neon signs on Madison Street. I've got to write my piece and put it in a slot. But what can I say? The story of a one-sided love? Well, if it does to you, I'll stick to Pinocchio. It's a funny thing about love, isn't it? Let someone get up and talk about hate, and he's hailed as a new leader. Let him speak of love, and he's ridiculed, he's spat upon, and even nailed to a cross. Love is the greatest thing, the oldest yet the latest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy, boy. Night Beat, a new dramatic series, stars Frank Lovejoy as Randy Stone. Tonight's story was written by Russell Hughes. Night Beat is edited by Larry Marcus and directed by Warren Lewis. Music by Frank Worth. The part of the prize fighter was played by Bill Conrad. Others in tonight's cast were Lorene Tuttle, Bill Lally, Larry Dobkin, and Leo Cleary. Frank Lovejoy will next be seen in most production Rock Bottom, released by Warner Brothers. Listen next week at this same time and every week as Randy Stone searches through the city for the strange stories waiting for him in the darkness. The stories that come out of the shadows to find their way into Night Beat. There's another great action-packed program you'll enjoy listening to on NBC every Sunday. It's Christopher London with Glenn Ford in the title role. Christopher London was created especially for radio by the world's most widely read mystery writer, Earl Stanley Gardner. You'll truly enjoy this fast-moving mystery adventure series when you tune to NBC next Sunday on most of these same NBC stations. Stay tuned for Brian Donlevy and Dangerous Assignment on NBC.